What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. I hope you guys enjoyed that grinding montage. It took a long time, but we did finally get our Ampharos on the team. Let's go ahead and jump into a quick party recap before we jump into today's episode. We've got a lot to do, so I don't want to waste too much time, but... We got the newest addition to our team. We got Warden, our Ampharos, sitting with Tackle, Thunder Punch, Thundershock, and Thunder Wave. I did want to get him up to level 40, uh, just to make sure that we were kind of on par with the rest of the team. Now, in doing so, we even uh, leveled up some of our other Pokemon as well, including Origins, our Scizor, uh, sitting at level 40 now as well with Pursuit slash Extreme Speed and Metal Claw. We've got Varen sitting at level 39 with Slash, Cut, Bite, and Waterfall. Finally got Waterfall on there. We got Powerhouse holding that Amulet Coin with Gust, Powder, Snowfly, and Surf. We got Martiz, level 41, holding that Focus Band with Teleport, Confusion, Psychic, and Side Beam. And we have Burlette, one of our other new members of the team, with Faint Attack, Bubble Beam, Strength, and Pursuit, also sitting at level 41. We have got a pretty stacked team today. I am very, very happy with the way this has worked out. Uh, despite having lost Lover in the last episode, uh, I really like having Warden on the team. Now, before we do anything, there's a couple uh, little odds and ends that we need to kind of take care of. So first things first, let's go ahead and give that Magnet over to Warden here. Uh, that'll power up those thunder punches, those thunder shocks, things like that. Now, additionally, though, we do have a number of encounters in today's episode, uh, including the Dragon Den, the city itself, uh, plus the next route. So I am going to pick up a number of Ultra Balls here. Uh, we have got tons of money, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick up 20. Uh, we're going to be relatively easy here. Uh, I'm also going to pick up some Repels. This is... Just a quality of life thing. Uh, I, I hate having to go through caves and things like that and just encounter after encounter when we're trying to save time. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna avoid that today. Uh, and we're gonna jump in. Now I believe uh, we didn't actually get the badge, right? Uh, let's so we have the we've beaten the, the gym leader, but we did not get the badge yet. So uh, the layout will reflect that. Uh, but this does count as an encounter if we can get something here. So let's see what we get. Let's see if we can surf and find something. Uh, we may have to fish here. I actually don't remember if you can even catch stuff here. Oh, you can. Okay, cool. All right, what do we got? An Electabuzz. That's actually really sweet. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we don't really have, I guess, I mean, we can paralyze it, maybe? That's like the only thing we can do. Uh, this is pre them uh, not letting you uh, Thunder Wave on a electric type, so that's helpful. <sighs> ah, tasty. All right, uh, but we really can't damage this thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball it, and we'll see if it works. We won't throw too many. Um, we don't need necessarily an Electabuzz, though I do really like Electabuzz. Uh, it's not that high leveled though, so I feel like we should be able to catch this thing. We'll see. We'll see. Guys, I hope you're doing really, really well today. It's Wednesday. We're getting through the week. It has been a busy week. We have had a lot to do, <clears throat> uh, which is why we didn't get any gameplay up yesterday. I do try and stick with this series uh, solely for the simple fact that some of you guys follow along, uh, and it's nice to be able to say we've uploaded every day for it and that kind of thing. Okay, this is a little annoying. Um, we'll try one more ball. Just one. I'm not going to push it. Uh, but we, uh, we've tried to stay pretty consistent with this series and I've really enjoyed that. Uh, all right, that's it. We're not doing it. We're just going to run away. Not even worried about it. Uh, we have stayed pretty consistent with this series, missing a couple episodes over the weekends, of course, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch this out because we are going to need Warden out front for the next encounter as well, uh, which is in the cave. All right, so... Uh, there are a number of items in here. We are gonna have to teach Whirlpool to something, I believe, as well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see. We will see. Uh, I want to make sure we don't lose out on any items. I'm just kind of checking to see. Yeah, there is Whirlpool there, so... Hopefully. <laughs> uh, it's gonna kind of suck if we can't use it, uh, but let's see. Can something learn Whirlpool? Uh, Powerhouse can. Burlette can? 
It's not great, but I'm gonna teach it to Burlette. Uh, the one downside to this game is having to teach so many, like, random moves. Uh, I honestly, well, it might just be Pursuit. Pursuit's like the weaker of the dark type moves, so I'm okay with, uh, with teaching that there. Our Burlette is water and dark type. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we are gonna go hopefully pick up an encounter right now-ish? We'll see. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Ah, there we go. All right, let's see what we can get. Hopefully something really good. A Cloyster. Uh, I actually really like Cloyster. Um, kind of an underrated mon, in my opinion. Hmm. Sorry guys, I just, I love coffee. This is my third cup this morning. Uh, and it's like nine o'clock, not even. All right, supersonic, that's annoying. I'm just gonna throw an ultra ball first uh, and we'll see how this goes. It may not work, I don't know, but we're gonna try. Uh, give me something, okay, all right. We got a couple shakes out of it, I like it. Uh, I'm gonna say let's try a tackle. Uh, if we break through the confusion, this shouldn't kill. Yeah, okay. Aurora beam, very good move. Now, crucially, I'm not going to tackle again unless this thing does, like, a withdrawal or something along those lines. I don't want to just, like, straight up kill this thing. <laughs> um, and if we get a crit, obviously, that will die. Mm-mm. Mm All right. We will throw maybe a couple more balls here. I, again, I don't want to waste all of our Ultra Balls here. Um, we've got tons of money. I'm not terribly worried about that, but I just want to make sure that we're not uh, being super flippant about this stuff. Oh, hey, we got it though. Uh, and I did pull up Patreon. All right, so we are gonna name this, uh, who do we want to name it after? Um, okay, I like it. We're gonna name this thing Jackson after Jackson Lancaster. Thank you so much, my friend. I really do appreciate you being a supporter of our content. Uh, guys, if you are interested in being named after a Pokemon in this series, uh, make sure I spell this right. Okay. Uh, very cool name for, like, just spelling. Uh, Bill is gonna call us. Yep, here we go. Uh, very cool name, though. Uh, all right, we need to switch that before we jump into the next route. Let's try and remember to do that. Uh, otherwise, we kind of just forfeit that encounter, which is obviously not ideal. Uh, we don't really want to do that. All right, so. Uh, there's an item. Good. What we got? Dragon Fang. All right, cool. We did it. Claire. All right. There we go, guys. We got the rising badge. That is finally our eighth gym badge for Johto. We have acquired it. We have done it, guys. We have done it. Uh, man. Oh, and we got a TM. Sweet. Uh, we'll see what that is. Ice Punch. Okay. Uh, that's actually really good like super super good uh yeah, yeah 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 um let's see really quick just out of curiosity just just for the sake of 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 trying it out we have two ice punches actually uh can powerhouse learn it why have we not taught powerhouse ice punch yet guys why didn't you tell me what the heck everybody all right let's get rid of powder snow for ice punch because that's just way better um, yeah, okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, so here's my question. Can I just teleport out of here? Uh, is that a thing we can do? Nope, okay, well, it was worth a shot. I was hoping we could just save time, to be brutally honest. Uh, but that's okay. Let's do one thing really quick, again. Saving that time, hopefully, theoretically. Oh, I can't, that's annoying. Man, there's so many, like, quality of life fixes that... Could have been so much better. All right, <laughs> let's get out of here. Max repel our way over here. I guess we should go in the little whatchamacallit thing, just to see. I don't actually know what's in there. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, okay, so we've gotten a really good encounter in my opinion. Uh, we've gotten our eighth gym badge. We've got another encounter to go. And then we can be on our way. Can we actually do anything here? I don't think so. Dragon Shrine. Okay, no. 
I was just checking. I did, I wasn't sure if you could like literally go in that building because it's been so long since I've played this version. To be honest. Uh, all right. I don't know why they had those two little. Like, what was the point? Professor Elm. Hello, Kev. I have something here for you. I would love to come hang out. All right. Uh, let's do this, guys. Uh, also, we have a decision to make technically because uh, what we can do is get the encounter and then just fly over to New Town, which would save time. Uh, or we can just take our time, go through that route, and then end in New Town to move on to the uh, Pokemon League. And well, we won't start it the next episode, but we'll get close to it uh, in the next episode, which I think might be the better way to go, uh, to be honest. Uh, oh, switch boxes. Ha! Didn't forget. You thought I would. You thought I would forget. You, you crazy. We got this. All right. Let's change box. Let's get to box two. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool. We did it. Go us. We suck less today. All right. So we've actually got two encounters to get now that I think about it, because there's the dark cave there as well. Uh, let's see. Do we still have Warden out front? We do. Perfect. 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 All right. Let's go get some encounters, guys, and then we will battle our way back to New Bark Town. We will start here. Let's see what we can get in the dark cave. Da 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 da. Just like that. That's just fun. We have a max repel up, by the way. There we go. All right. We did it. We got through it. We did it. Mmm. Oh, so tasty. So tasty. All right. Give me something here. Let's see what we get. A Poliwag. I mean, honestly, I love Poliwrath or Politoad, so I'm okay with it. It's not great, but it's fine. Uh, do we think we can tackle this thing? I think we can tackle it. Our attack isn't like crazy bonkers, so we should be good. We definitely can't hit it with anything else. Let's tackle it, let's see how much it does. Oh! That was perfect. That was so perfect. <laughs> I thought it did, oh, uh, I thought, I thought we were uh, in for it. I'm gonna use a great ball. It's a Poliwag, not stressing about it. Uh, don't really feel like using an Ultra Ball on a Poliwag that's paralyzed and in the red. Just doesn't seem worth it. Uh, all right, let's pull up another name here, guys. Uh, what do we got? It is a male. Uh, I think we are gonna go Isaac for Isaac Robertson. Isaac, thank you so much, my friend. I really do appreciate you being an amazing patron of our channel. Uh, really does mean a lot, guys. Thank you so much for everybody for the support on uh, Patreon and on this series. You guys have been really, really kind on this series, which we certainly appreciate. All right, let's see what else we could have gotten. Okay, I definitely am glad we got the, the Poliwag over a Tangela. I hate Tangela. It's just a ball of weeds, man. Like, who wants that, really? Uh, all right, let's see what we can get, guys. Hopefully something good. Uh, there is an item right here. A Leaf Stone, that's actually pretty solid. Uh, there are quite a number of Pokemon that can evolve, so I'm into it uh, with a Leaf Stone, specifically. We also have a Water Stone. Uh, that is dupes. Uh, very, very cool. But we already have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run away here. We'll see what else we can find. Uh, and we can just, I guess, push on. We don't really have to stay in that one patch of grass. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get. A Ponyta, that is species. <laughs> uh, we have TNT. Uh, and so we actually don't have to catch that either. So we get to keep re-encountering until we find something. A Pokeball! That's convenient. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna keep... I'm gonna stay in this patch of grass. We'll see what we can get. Maybe we won't get anything. <laughs> uh, we do, I mean, we can just catch one of these if we would like. Uh, but I have to imagine there's like a rare encounter as well. Maybe the Scizor was it. No. It's a Smoochum. I mean, I really don't like Smoochum. <laughs> I, there's not really a saving grace to this one. I really hate Smoochum. Uh, it's one of my like least favorite Pokemon. Uh, despite that raging look of just amazingness, 
If I tackle and it dies, it's fine. Okay, whoops. Sorry. Uh, not sorry at all. I don't care about smooching. All right, let's push on everybody. We are gonna fight our way through to New Bark Town. Hopefully ending there in today's episode. Uh, this has been like, there's a lot of trainers along here that I think are worth just kind of fighting. Uh, if nothing else, just to get some extra experience. We do want to get uh, Powerhouse out front. I want to level up Powerhouse. That is my new goal. Uh, so after this one, we'll swap out Powerhouse here. Uh, or Warden for Powerhouse here, so. We can get some XP there. Warden getting a thousand XP. Look at that. Uh, drowsy. Sure. Uh, let's actually go to Varen because we can bite this thing and hopefully get it out of here quick. Look how bad a that sprite is for Drowsy. Like, Drowsy is not a cool Pokemon, but that's like really cool sprite. Like, I'm in. I can take it. Uh, this should knock- oh god, so close. Uh, oh good, flinch. Um, so we do want to get everything to level 40. That's kind of my internal goal. Uh, Varen's so close here. Uh, Raikou though, absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, who do we go into? Uh, it's probably gonna have Bite. I'm just gonna go into Burlet. <clears throat> it is only level 26. We probably could have taken it, but it is a Raikou, and I don't feel like dealing with that. I'm just gonna Faint Attack. See how much it does. Hopefully a decent chunk. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I do forget though that the legendary dogs don't really learn a whole lot of great moves for a long time and sitting at level 26 It's not gonna know that much. Uh, so we probably were safe, but regardless we took him down. I like it Let's actually put Varen out front and not powerhouse since it's so close to level 40 uh, We can level him up and then we will start working on powerhouse as well uh, to get everything kind of leveled up here uh, keeping in mind we've already Lost our encounter. What else could we have found? There were Slowbro in here? Dude, I would have taken a Slowbro. I actually really like Slowbro. <laughs> I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Uh, Psychic and Water. Oh, so cool. I'm gonna bite this so we can level up. Easy. Easy, easy. All right. <clears throat> now we can send Powerhouse out uh, to, to start uh, leveling up as well. Our team is looking solid, guys. I know we had a couple of switch-ups recently, adding in Burlet and Warden uh, for the others that we have unfortunately lost a spell tag, interesting. Uh, but I still really love our team. Like, we've got some great type coverage, we've got some awesome Mons that are very like reminiscent of Silver version in particular, like Umbreon, Ampharos, all Pokemon that were introduced in this gen. It just makes so much sense to have them on the team, uh, and they're just so good. They're just so good. A sharp beak. Not bad, actually. Uh, I mean, Powerhouse has the amulet coin, so we don't really need it, but uh, it would be kind of nice to add that in maybe at some point. All right. <clears throat> Espeon. Cool. Uh, we'll just gust it. That'll be fine. Oh, we should have ice punched it. I love the idea of Articuno ice punching anything. Just, it's a little talon, just psh. I love that. I think that's so funny. I'm gonna gust again here. All right. Let's see, let's see. All right, Seeking. Sorry guys, I had to respond very quickly. All right, let's Ice Punch this thing. Let's get it out of here. Ooh, Ice Punch looks kind of cool. Um, okay, that did nothing. My bad. Oh, but it froze it. Perfect. All right, now we can just gust away. Ice Punch is sick. I really like it. Uh, it's such a good move in my opinion, and it deals so much better than, so much more damage than Powder Snow in my, if, if I remember correctly. So it's like, this is just a win-win to have Ice Punch on the powerhouse here. I'm just picking a direction, by the way. I don't really know what the best way to go is, but I'm gonna go this way. We got a mystery berry. Lovely. All right, let's go down here. Uh, and we're actually, I think, pretty close to New Bark Town. Oh yeah, this is that little like offshoot. There's the dark cave. What's over here? More berries. Ah, okay, well, that's fine. Um, 
let's go this way. All right, that's fine. I think over here there's like a little lake or something where you can... Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, this is a new route. <laughs> is it? No, no, it's not a new route. I'm sorry. Uh, so that little lake is the one, though, where I think you can get... Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. We'll see. Uh, let's Ice Punch. This thing's level 19. I'm not really worried about a level 19 electrode. Alright. Get it out of here. We did it. Go us. We're amazing. Alright. Uh, item. An ice heal. Uh, don't really care about having an ice heal. We've got so many items. My goodness. Alright. Let's do this. Go us. We are amazing. Alright, wheezing. Cool. Uh, these are very low level things. I guess we are. This is Route 46, which we technically got an encounter on in like the first episode. So just to clear that up, that is like where we are at the moment because we're almost back to uh, New Bark Town, which is perfect because we're coming up on like 21, 22 ish minutes. So we're like, we're hitting the, the mark perfect this time around. We'll end in New Bark Town uh, and we'll be able to. Uh, to start on uh, getting to the Indigo League, or the Pokemon League, or whatever you want to call it, in the next one. So we're we're doing great, guys. Well done. Well done, us. Look at that little Cleffa. Level two. It's adorable. Uh, just for the sake of, I want to I want to envision an Articuno ice punching a level two Cleffa. <laughs> Ten experience. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Go us, we are amazing. All right, so we are essentially back in New Bark Town at this point. Uh, guys, wow, we have come full circle. We are finally through the Johto portion of this game. Now, obviously we do still have a lot to do in this game. Part of me, I'll be honest, part of me wants to end the series in the Indigo League. Uh, I know that that's not necessarily the correct thing to do, um, but I've got an idea for a new series soon, um, that I really want to... We got two Master Balls! What up? Uh, oh, you know what? You know what we can do? In the next episode, we could go get a Legendary Encounter. Ooh, I think I might do that. I kind of like that idea. Maybe we'll do that in the next one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We have finally made it pretty much all the way through Johto. We are kicking some butt in this series. Our team is looking great. I love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please leave a like or a comment down below if you enjoyed this episode. Thank you, as always, to the patrons as well for supporting our content. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, and guys, we'll see you soon in the next episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. Thanks so much, everybody.